Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supergirl video, episode 199. We are one episode away from the big 200. Hopefully, the new update and the new tier will drop for episode 200. But I doubt it. Maybe 201. So yeah, still looking really forward to that, guys. Last couple, last stage really of, uh, of WrestleMania 33. Tiered finishing up this last solo event before the new tier, which is... Oh, it's a relief. So we are currently on the big show, which is not great. Not great at all. I haven't had much time today um, to play, so I'm quite behind and I'm worried. It's going to be a big, big grind. No matter what, I'm going to get the Rock Pro for sure, but I'm dreading uh, the the fact that I have to do like the WrestleMania and probably the event card uh, within like four hours. So it's going to be a grind. We'll we'll try and we'll try and get that done, but. Yeah, one day, two hours left for four cards. Try and get at least the big show done. And we'll try and uh, chisel our way through Cena. And that way tomorrow we'll have uh, Taker and Rock to do. So manageable for sure. Uh, I'm working tomorrow, so it's, it will be a bit tricky. But we should have plenty of time when I, when I get back. So yeah, let's uh, let's get off RTG for the time being. Uh, we got some background rewards in this episode. Probably our final battleground before we do another battleground for the new tier not probably definitely actually our last uh, battleground in WrestleMania 33 tier so we're gonna go and claim these rewards hopefully we can you know finish battleground what has been a very very nice and efficient way of getting WrestleMania cards throughout this tier battleground has been fantastic hopefully we can end it with a bang that means John Cena or Roman Reigns or, you know, a pro, which would mean like a Brian Kendrick, a Neville, a Miz. Any one of those five cards I've just said would be really, really awesome. Let's see what we get, guys. Let's claim these rewards. Come on. Come on. A Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is the only WrestleMania card I'm missing right now. That would be the best thing to get. It's not often I want a Roman Reigns, but I do want him right now. Can Super card, Cad Daddy, can you can you do this for me? Okay, Elite Cesaro, we've got a Battle Points coming up, and then it's the WrestleMania card. So, Battle Points, which takes us up to a grand total of 50,500 Battle Points. Can't wait to, to cash them in for some SummerSlam. 17 cards. Let's move on to our WrestleMania 3, 2, and 1. Samoa. Joe, a very, very decent card to get. Very, very, it is very decent, but pretty proed. Don't need none of that. And yes, guys, an elite Sasha Banks. Wow. Almost again makes up for the Samoa Joe, you know? Um, because that Sasha Banks is a pro, and it has been a while since I've got this other elite Sasha Banks. Just waiting for me to get a second one so I can finally pro her. Get it done out of my catalogue. Oh my god, every time I can just f just cross one off the list in either Elite or Ultimate or even WrestleMania tier. It's coming to the point. Ah, oh, it's awesome. So, I'll, I'll quickly... I know this might bore some people, but I'll quickly go through who we're missing in Elite tier. And it's there aren't many people. I'm just talking about regular cards, yeah? So, let's go on to the second page. We're missing a Jack Swagger. A Luke Harper, a Mark Henry, pro that is. So three, a Sami Zayn pro, and that's it. Wow, okay. So we're close, really close on that. Uh, we're still missing a Big E, and I'm pretty sure Big E is the, uh, no, a Dana Brooke as well. Uh, and then Nikki Bella, of course, female-wise. We've still got Nikki Bella that we've never, ever gotten in Ultimate Tier. There you go. I've only just gotten uh, WrestleMania Nikki Bella, so... Yeah, and that is it again in uh, oh and a Sasha Banks, another female, forgot there. But yeah, guys, looking looking good, and it's looking good for WrestleMania too as well actually. Um, although I'm gonna go through these, and it's not gonna look amazing. Uh, it's just because there are a lot, quite a few uh, Hall of Fame cards, quite a few throwbacks, Money in the Bank cards. I don't have any, but on the whole, I am missing quite a few females. But it's quite decent, like that Brian Kendrick I'm missing, which I wanted to get a pro of. But apart from that, it's it's not bad. John Cena, and then lots lots and lots of females. Neville's another one who I haven't even gotten proed yet. 
Nia Jax is another card I haven't even gotten. There's Roman Reigns, who I haven't, no, I haven't gotten yet. But not bad. Miz still needs to be proed as well. But getting getting there, guys. Ready for SummerSlam 17 tier. Let's get into a couple games of RTG. We'll wrap the episode after that. Um, we're in 30 points in the big show. Let's get to 50 points, and then we'll, we'll wrap it up there. I didn't get time to stream yesterday, guys. I'm really, really sorry. Um, no excuses. I didn't even work yesterday. Um, I could, or did I? Yeah, no, I worked today. Yesterday, no. Um, I could have streamed. I just kind of forgot, and I was forgot, and then I went out last night. So yeah, sorry about that, guys. I did all promise you a stream yesterday, and that didn't happen. So I will, um, will we'll probably depending on depending on what time I finish work tomorrow, how tired I am, we might get a stream out tomorrow. I'm not guaranteeing anything, but I definitely guarantee the next time I've got a day off. I'll get a stream out there for you guys, and yeah, I mean, unless it's like the day coming up to the uh, update and there's just nothing to stream, you know, I'll make up for it as soon as SummerSlam 17 tier comes out, which, um, speculated by a couple people, I think it's, uh, it matches what uh, Cat Daddy and Supercard do normally with updates, well, recently at least, and that is to release it on a Wednesday, uh, Wednesday night probably for people in the UK, so... Um, yeah, they're going to release the new tier with the preview probably of the solo ring domination, I'm assuming, um, which I have no idea who it will be. Get your guesses who you think the first event card for SummerSlam 17 tier is. I'm going to take a wild guess right now um, and say it will be Shinsuke Nakamura. Let me know who you guys think it is. I'd love, obviously, for it to be a Kurt Angle. But yeah, let me know in the comments. And yeah, might come out Wednesday. Hopefully, it doesn't come out after Wednesday because that would be that'd be annoying. And hopefully, it's not. Imagine if there was like another WrestleMania 33 event card that comes out, and it's like, oh yeah, the update will come out in two weeks. That would be that would be annoying. But prob definitely not. That's definitely not going to happen. But yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday probably, maybe maybe Tuesday. But yeah, look at you know probably around there, beginning of next week. So looking forward to that. Only a couple more days for that. Hopefully, Cat Daddy or Super God. We'll tweet out on Twitter something, maybe a sneak peek for a couple more cards. Maybe something extra they're going to add in this update and not just a new tier. Maybe maybe something else. You can always hope for something else. And yeah, pretty much it, guys. Let's wrap these, uh, these games up. Pretty easy games. Not It's just not even a challenge anymore. So yeah, pretty, pretty easy. Ellie Big Show. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I've got that proed. And then, yeah, it's John Cena and Undertaker, which is all done as well. Can't believe I missed out on Big E and The Miz in that Team RTG. That would have just... Big E especially. Like, The Miz... The Miz, I haven't been wanting him as much. But that, it's not... You know, it's not that I really wanted an Ultimate Big E. It's just, yeah, I've needed to get him pro for so long now. It's, it's annoying. It's annoying because he was in the, I think, Solo RTG. I'm pretty sure it was Solo RTG. Um, when season three first came out, he was the ultimate card for that. I remember getting only to like hard and Barrack Corbin in that RTG. It was like the first RTG, I think. Uh, there was the Ring Dom, and then there was the the RTG, and that's where Big E was. Never got him then, and then missed the last opportunity to get him. So yeah. All right, guys, let's get into another game. Ethan Carver. Let's get into a game with you, man. Come on. Come on, come on. All right, apart from that, guys, um, the football started recently. That is that is a joy, foot, foot, getting right back into the action. So, again, for all my American viewers out there, I'm very, very sorry. But we've got to talk football here for a little bit because it's been a, it's been a very, very entertaining Friday and Saturday. Um, I mean, where I'm going to start right at the most important part, and that is the, the best team in the world... Arsenal FC got the win at Leicester, 4-3, what a match. Not going to go through it, guys, because, yeah, if you guys are fans, you probably have heard. And if you're not, you don't really care about it, so, yeah. And then uh, we move on to uh, to today, where, the, you know, there was only Arsenal and Leicester playing like yesterday. And, yeah, Chelsea lost, Liverpool drew. It's all good. It's very, very good. Love, love seeing Chelsea lose. So, to all you Chelsea fans out there as well, oh, well, you know... Two red cards, three goals conceded at home, and uh, a total of zero points. So yeah, very yeah. It's always that brought a smile to my face. Uh, for once, you know, for once it's that way and not the other way around, where Arsenal lose the opening game of the season, 
last year on the losing end of a 4-3. This year on the winning end of a 4-3. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, guys, let me know as well if your if your teams, clubs played over the weekend, uh, who you support, or let me know all of that in the comments. And obviously, if you're a Chelsea, Tottenham fan, all of that, uh, yeah, go ahead, tell me Arsenal shit in the comments. But it's gonna happen anyways. <laughs> it's gonna happen anyways. All right, pretty much the end of this RTG game. Get our picks. Imagine if we got a pull right now. Imagine if we got a pull. Who would I want? Ryan I could pull anyone. Probably a female, actually, but Roman Reigns would be a close second. Uh, Roman Reigns would definitely be a close second. Becky Lynch would be great. Nikki Bella would be great. Just to get him. Well, actually, I just got Nikki Bella. Nia Jax, Charlotte. Nia Jax, Charlotte, Asuka, Becky. Four females I still haven't gotten yet, plus Roman Reigns. That's five WrestleMania cards total I haven't got yet. So, yeah. Probably not going to get all of them before the new tier comes out. So I'm missing, going to be missing a bit. But yeah, should uh, should eventually get there. In elite tier, we're only a couple cards short. Ultimate tier, we're biggie and a couple females short. So yeah, it's really it's really getting up there. It's really we're doing good. There's That's the end of that game, guys. 50 points in the big show. Still a long way to go in one day and two hours. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, do drop it a like. Uh, some slam predictions will be coming out about this time. Um, well, this time, this time right now, next week is SummerSlam. So yeah, about Thursday, Friday, you can expect my SummerSlam predictions. Uh, get that out. It'll be a, probably a long video because there's like 25 matches on SummerSlam. So anyway, guys, do drop a like if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Then take care and peace out.